Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God, of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this. The Lord has need of them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. To praise you, almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was proclaimed as king of kings by those who spread their garments and branches of palm along the way. Let these branches be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life who lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit now and forever.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your son, our savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 through 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens wakens my ear to listen to those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. Who, he who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 31, verses 9 through 16. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbors a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness, save me. The second lesson is a reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, 
so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Rides a milk white horse, no man works like him. The river Jordan he did cross, no man works like him. of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray Jesus to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near, and I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him, one after another. Surely not I, Lord. not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to the one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, This is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. I tell you, 
I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, you could not stay awake with me for one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come unto the time of trial? The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time. And prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So, leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs and from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, Do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father? And he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowd, 
have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the group of with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus, so they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I'm able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days. The priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Messiah. Who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests 
taken the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now, at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him. Have nothing to do with that innocent man. For today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, his blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters. And they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, Hail King of the Jews! King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named, Simeon, named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. 
And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you you who would destroy, who the, destroy temple the temple and build it and in three days, in three days. Save, yourself. save yourself if you are the son of if god you are the son of god come down from the cross come down from the cross in the same way the chief priests also along with the scribes and elders were mocking him saying he saved others he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now. If he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, Darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice. Eli, Eli, Lima Sabatani. That is. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard this, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, Wait. let us see whether Elijah Elijah will will come to save him. him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now, when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and walked to place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Did you put your palms on your windows and on your doors for the whole week to let the whole world know that you are one of the Lord's chosen? We are the people of God. I know it says on your slide, the sermon, but I feel like I'm all talked out. This week I've been on the telephone, I've been on conference calls and communication calls and and three-way talking and just all talked out. So I only have three things, three words for you. The first word, 
first word. Hosanna. The second word. Selah. The third word. Come on. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. I remember singing as a child. Or all the way green palms and blossoms gay are strewn today in best of preparation. Oh my, a child in the adult choir. Hosanna, Hosanna, praise to the Lord, we would sing. Hosanna in the highest, but I didn't know what it meant. To you? Do you know, Hosanna, we say it as a praise. We say Hosanna as a thanksgiving. We say Hosanna, but what does it literally mean? Hosanna, Hosanna, save us, Lord, please save us. Oh. Shana, Oshana, oh save us, Lord, please save us. And as if ever there was a time when we needed to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, save us, Lord, save us. And why were the children singing that as Jesus entered? His name, Jesus, the one who saves. God is my salvation. And so enter on a donkey, this Jesus entering, entering as even Zechariah 9, 9 tells us, rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Behold, your king comes. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Your king comes to you triumphant and victorious, is he humble and riding on a donkey on a coat foal of a donkey. That was one of our readings this morning. It goes on to say he will cut off the chariot of Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall command peace to the nation. Hosanna, save us, Lord, save us. The people of Israel were subject to the Roman empire. Save us, Lord, save us. All others had once again captured the people of Israel in their own culture. Save us, Lord, save us. They were waiting for a prophet, a king, a messiah. They were waiting for God with us. They were waiting for the promised messiah. As we take a look at the psalm, second word I want you to remember is silah. It's an instruction that we see very often in the psalms. We are told that silah, S-E-L-A-H, appears 71 times in the psalm. It's kind of a, an instruction to those who sing. It's an instruction to us today. It's an instruction, some say, it says pause and deeply reflect on what's happening here. Jesus walk that lonesome valley. He had to walk in by himself. Oh, nobody else could walk it for him, he had to walk it by himself. Pause and deeply reflect on what's happening here, what's happening in Holy Week, what's happening in your life, what's happening in your community, what's happening in your household, what's happening in the United States, what's happening in the world. Salam, stop and reflect, pause and deeply reflect on what's happening here. 
what is happening. Psalm 118 says, save us, we beseech you, O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. And so it is, we bless one another from the house of the Lord because we are indeed that house. The Lord is God. And he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. Yes, it's time for salvation. Salvation. Salvation in Jesus Christ. Salvation in the incarnate Christ. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. The one who comes to save us from even ourselves, our sins. The one who is the Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Save us. Yes, Jesus is coming to town. Yes, 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 Jesus is here even now. Put your palms on the window. The third word I want you to remember is one you may not have ever seen or heard, but some of you have heard my story. I thought my grandmother stuttered. She would say, come on, come on, come on, come on. And she would say it any time we were in the middle of a challenging task. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Yena, come, 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 hama, hama, hama. I thought she was stuttering. Yes, I thought she was stuttering until a friend of mine from Uganda, with whom I had spent a whole summer in Uganda. Canon, the Reverend Canon Mabel Katawari came to be with me one summer. It was the summer that she was finishing her dissertation for her doctorate. And prior to the summer, she spent the Easter Holy Week with me. And I asked her if she would please, please, would you do the meditations? And so she did, and one of the meditations was a meditation that was a fable about the fox and the hound. And the hound said to the fox, I can catch you and I can catch you anytime. And the fox responded to the hound. Yes, I know you can catch me, but the only reason that you can catch me is because your master stands behind you, riding, riding on that horse, riding and saying, Persevere, persevere, humma, 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 persevere, humma, humma, humma. And I looked at her and I said, say that again. She said, humma, 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 persevere. And I heard my grandmother saying that each time that she was teaching us a new task, each time she wanted us to persevere, each time that we thought that grandma was stuttering. She was using a language unknown to us. Hama, 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 persevere, don't stop. And so the third word today to you during this holy week is hama, 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 persevere, don't stop, regardless of what happens in your life. Hama, 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 don't stop. It is a holy language. It is a language that tells you Christ is behind you. Your master is right there on the side, lifting you up, standing behind you, in front of you, and indeed lifting you when you cannot walk yourself. Hama, hama, hama. And so I say to you, salam, salam, pause and reflect on what God is doing in your life and in the world. Pause and reflect, pause and know that God is God. And so that instruction to the choir 
Just wait. Wait right there. Think about it. And then with all your heart, continue. And some say that Salah means forever and ever, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Oops, I said that word. Well, what about Hosanna? Hosanna in the highest. Save us, Lord, we pray. Please save us as we walk the way of the cross. Save us as on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. But I love that old cross with the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners, for us, for you, and for me, we're slain. We'll cherish the cross. We'll walk the way of the cross this week. We won't stop. We'll come together on Monday, Thursday, and we'll know that Monday means a, a mandate to love one another as I have loved you. And we'll walk the way as Christ washes your feet and mine and as we do those things for one another that we don't usually do because we don't take the time and we'll walk the way of the cross as Christ takes those stripes for us and we'll walk the way of the cross all the way, all the way, all the way to victory in Jesus. Amen. Prayers of the People Let us pray for the whole state of Christ Church and the world. Let us pray to the Lord who is our refuge and stronghold, for all who are affected by coronavirus through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time, and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. For doctors, nurses, and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Sanaya, Dwight, Elise, Marion, Andrew, Aidan, Kayla, Annette, Juliet, Gina, Lasisha, Wilma, Roseanne, Janelle, Aidan, Benjamin, Carrie, Paul, Maria, Grace, Paula, Pauline, Heather, Cameron, Nicole, Barbara, Zachary, Richard, Claudette, Lornell, Frederick, Allison, Monica, Faye, Michael, Jean, Cynthia, Glasspole, Daniel, Tanya, Carvalou, Dora, Betty, Megan, Dorit, Beverly, Dolores, Maureen, James, Felicia, Blanca, Barrington, Winsome, Henry, Andrine, Dwayne, Melissa, Dora. Lord, hear us. For those who are celebrating their anniversary of birth this week, especially Franklin, Sherry Ann, Kamal, Muriel, Judith, Alan, Carlene, Clarette. And for those celebrating their wedding anniversary, especially Dale and Charmaine, Franklin and Rachel, Jonathan and Joy, Neville and Alric. 
Lord, hear us. For our blessing on our local community, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. The peace of the Lord be always with you. You may tithe online at www.holysacrament.org or mail your envelopes to the church office at 2801 North University Drive, Hollywood, 33024. Your gifts are most appreciated. be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Let us pray. Almighty God, since we cannot physically receive the sacrament, come spiritually into our hearts, we pray, and unite us to you, Lord Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Good morning, Holy Sacrament. This is Pat Rule King, your senior warden. We are delighted that you are worshiping with us this morning. In these trying times, take a moment and be still and know that he is God. Our campus remains closed for gatherings through April 30th. We will update you if there are any changes to this plan. However, please join us this week for all our Holy Week services. We will have Monday Thursday service at 7 p.m. Good Friday services with meditation from noon to 12.15 p.m. on Good Friday. Further meditation from 1 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. And from 2.30 to 3 p.m. Stations of the Cross. We will have our Easter Day celebration service at 9.30 a.m. Services will be streamed live on Facebook Live, YouTube, and by conference call. Please check the email blast, also our website, for further instructions. If you know parishioners that may not receive our e-blast, please call them and give them the instructions so that they can also join us for services. As we go through the week, remember that the church office is functional. You can email us or call us as you did in the past. You can email any of the wardens. We will get back to you, and we will be able to answer questions and provide solutions. The Book of Common Prayer is also available online for those of you that might be interested in reading your Book of Common Prayer in this time when we are off. As you go about your daily lives this week, Please stay home unless you are involved in an essential service and must go to work. When you do go out in public, the Centers for Disease Control are now recommending that you wear a face covering. We continue to recommend that you wash your hands vigorously or use a hand sanitizer. Try to wash your hands vigorously for at least 20 seconds. Please do not touch your face. And most importantly, please remain 8 to 10 feet apart from other people, especially when you're out in public. Social distancing, we feel, is the best way to prevent the virus from being transmitted from one person to another. If we are very conscientious and continue to follow these basic principles, we will be able to stop the spread of this virus. 
Let us all be part of the solution. We currently know that there is no vaccine and there has been no consistent proven cure for the virus. The only way to prevent the spread and death and suffering is to maintain our social distance and practice self basic personal hygiene habits. Mother Jackie, the wardens, the vestry, and all the people of Holy Sacrament stand together during this difficult time, and we continue to pray for each and every one of you. Have a blessed week. In this holy week, where Christ suffered and died for us, let us walk the way of the cross, that we may know the power of his resurrection. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and abide with you now, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, fill all the world adore His sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the Cross, the love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore His sacred name. Each newborn servant of the crucified bears. Cross, the love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore His sacred name. Proclaim till all the world adore his sacred name. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim. Till all the world adore His sacred name, so shall our song of triumph ever be praised to the crucified for victory. The love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore his sacred name. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be.
Just a reminder, please join us in this Holy Week. I want to remind you that on our website, you can find a list of services that you can participate in all of the church and in the diocese. And I want to remind you to join us on Thursday night, Monday, Thursday night, for our Monday night service at 7 p.m. And also, join us again on Good Friday at noon as we have a first meditation at noon to 12.15. We'll dial up for a second meditation at 1 to 1.15. And then together, we will walk the way of the cross with the stations of the cross at 2.30. God bless you this week. God be with you till we meet again. song